Hey, what is up guys? Justin here from Out of the Basement, and today we have another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. We're gonna be taking a look at the New Republic security droid from The Mandalorian. This is a Wave 33 figure, and before we jump into it, hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. We are always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. Pretty self-explanatory, it's the New Republic security droid. It is actually an all new sculpt head to toe. Taking a look at the packaging first, we have the Black Series logo up here. Window that will be going away very soon. This is a Wave 33 figure. Wave 34 will have the window. And then Wave 35 will be the first wave with the plastic free packaging. Star Wars The Mandalorian New Republic security droid. We have a pretty decent art picture on the side for the mural. On the back, it is number 23 in the Mandalorian line. We have that same profile image on the right side of the box. Black Series logo again up here, New Republic security droid in that nice orangish text. And there is a read up if you'd like to read it, go ahead and pause it there. Little bit of side window, little bit of top window. Let's crack it open. All right, let's take a closer look at the one accessory. And yeah, I know it's just one accessory, but hear me out, hear me out, check this out. It is the DH-17 blaster, and we have seen this sculpt before in the Black Series, but check out this paint. This is a monumental return to the black plastic with the chrome on the barrel and even a little bit of chrome silvery paint on the tip of the scope there. This is a monumental return. This is what all of the DH-17s used to look like in the line. But for example, check this one out. This is the one that came with the Hoth Rebel Soldier, which they cast it just in gray plastic. I always prefer my blasters to be cast in black plastic most of the time. And yeah, kudos to the designers for including the chromish silverish paint this time around i think it makes a huge difference it's actually pretty important to me honestly so i know it's just the one accessory but they did give it the proper paint the paint that we used to get in the line and now you know it's making a return for the dh-17 so i gotta give credit where credit is due the droid is able to hold that blaster perfectly, no complaints there. Here is a look of the New Republic security droid out of the box posed up with his DH-17 blaster. My first, you know, initial thoughts right out of the box, it's pretty cool, you know, it's a new sculpt, it's a droid. One might say that it looks dull, but I think if you were to take a closer look at those details like we are going to do in this review, you'll find that it actually has decent paint apps all around the figure. One might also say that it is light on accessories and yeah, it is just the one blaster. I've been trying to think of what else it could have came with. I honestly don't know. Comment down below, maybe some handcuffs or something, but let me know what you guys think could have came with this figure along with the blaster. Coming in to take a closer look at detail, this is a really nice looking sculpt. Like I said before, this is a new mold. They tried, I remember in the Q&A or one of the live streams, they said they tried to reuse, or you know, they had the thought to reuse some of K2SO, but foot to foot right here, yeah, the K2SO is way too tall for the New Republic security droid. So rest assured, this is an all new sculpt. And I think the sculpt is definitely here. I love the modern droids that they've been doing with these hinges and stuff, and we'll get into that with the articulation, but for right now, let's take a look at that head. I really do like the design of these guys from the show, and you know, it has that yellow strip for what would be the eyes or whatever, and it looks pretty clean on there. All over the figure we have this, it is dull, like the gray is like a dull gray but you could already notice because it kind of shines against the light that at these areas where like limbs connect to the main torso and even on like the abs right here and the neck it's like this really nice graphite like pencil paint i don't know what else to call it and it's a really good contrast from like right here to right here of what the majority figure is with that more dull gray so i think that's a really good contrast See if I could adjust the exposure a little bit to hammer that point home a little more. And they even included that detail on the back. And again, with the back, you know, you get that little bit of yellow up there. You get the New Republic logo even on the back. You know, you get a little orange strip. 
where the Oreo pack would go, you know, the thermal detonators. On the shoulder, we have a little bit more of that darker orange, the New Republic logo, a little bit more of that orange. There is a tiny bit of silver right there and there, more of that orange on the other shoulder. But again, I think my favorite part of the paint is this contrasting like graphite color that looks really metallic against the dull gray. And even at the joint where the leg connects to the torso, I just like that textured detail that's in there. There seems to be like a control panel or maybe like, I don't know, a battery pack, battery supply for the droid. I don't know what that is. There's a little bit of blue there as well. The feet down here are nice and flat and my droid has had absolutely no issues standing on its own. I've seen some other reviews where they say that they have a hard time getting theirs to stand up. Mine stands up no problem and has not fallen over yet. Similar to the K2SO, there are these like on the joints between the limbs here, there's like this translucent joint where you can kind of see the blue background through those holes. Well, they're not holes, they have translucent plastic in them, but they're at the ankles there, they're in the middle of the legs there where the knees are, they are up by the wrists and the bicep, you know, the elbows. So that's pretty cool. I like that detail. I think it makes it work, you know, it looks like they're holes, like, you know, the renders and the character design. I don't know, that's just pretty neat. It can look this far up really, really good. I always love the articulation that they're able to include with droids. Can look up a pretty decent amount. You can also look down that far. The head is on this neck peg that moves back and forth, but he also has a bit of a dumbbell joint in there. So you can kind of see, it's kind of hard to show you, but yeah, he does have that dumbbell joint in there as well as that neck peg, which is really cool. That means that you can get all sorts of, oh my God, the head popped right back on. It's not going anywhere, but yeah, be careful of that. <laughs> but yeah, you do get some nice tilt out of him. The shoulder armor is like super soft. You can easily lift that up and ooh, it exposes even more of that really cool metallic paint on the shoulders. So yeah, this is not gonna be inhibited because it's just attached right there. So be a little bit careful with that because it's just that little bit connecting it, but the arms can rotate all the way around. The arms can go all the way out. We do have some butterfly joints, which is always great to see, especially on a droid. And quick side note, this shoulder pad is actually connected with a tab on the arm itself. So like the whole shoulder pad moves with it. That's actually really cool. Single jointed elbow, which gets you exactly 90 degrees. And being that, you know, kind of like the K2SO, it can go like that or, you know, like that. That's fun. Lower arm rotation. Horizontal hinge at the wrist, which gives you amazing range of motion, as well as rotation. I wish they could have incorporated vertical, you know, gunslinger joints on the gunslinger hand, but you know, I'll take it because it has this insane range. And I'll show you later that you can still get some pretty good poses out of it. There is a ball joint at the upper torso here so you can get some good rotation and twisty and crunch. You can kick out about that far. Kick back a really far upper thigh rotation. Single jointed knee, which gets you a little bit more than 90. Lower leg rotation. And as far as the feet, they go really far down and really, oh gosh, that's painful. That's painful. And ankle pivot. As far as like a shooting pose, I think you can get him into a pretty good shooting pose. It helps that it's a droid, so it has, you know, automated targeting systems. You know, it probably doesn't actually have to look down the scope, right? And then if you wanted more of like a standing guard or patrolling the halls of the prison look, you can easily get that pose as well. Yeah, so far I'm having a lot of fun with this figure. Let's go ahead and make some comparisons. We don't have much to compare it to because the New Republic security droid is admittedly a super specific character from The Mandalorian. It's only from a couple episodes. So here are some original trilogy droids with C-3PO and IG-88. Then we can get into some Mandalorian love with the Beskar Mandalorian on the left and Q-90 on the right. Another great example of a killer all new sculpt droid from The Mandalorian. Then we have a B1 battle droid and K2SO. Finally, I wanted to throw this one in there 
This is a super battle droid that was sent to us from Landspeeder Luke. It's a 3D printed item. And I wanted to include this in here because Hasbro, you have been dedicating a lot of new sculpts to droid figures. We also have the new HK87 coming up. Can we please get this bad boy in the line? We are in desperate need of a super battle droid and just, you know, I know you could kill it. Look how good that looks. Come on Hasbro, let's go. Ultimately, if you are a fan of droids in the Black Series, you are going to absolutely love this figure. Of course I recommend it. It's a brand new sculpt, as I've said plenty of times in this video. But hey, sometimes, you know, YouTube creators don't mention when sculpts are new. And I think that's important to paint an accurate picture of what the line looks like as a whole instead of just calling out every single repaint. Let's also mention when there are new sculpts. If you are a fan of the Mandalorian, I don't see why you wouldn't pick this one up. Although it is admittedly a super, super specific design from the show. It's not in the show that much. So honestly, I can also see a lot of people deciding to pass on this one. It's all a preference of what kind of characters you want in your collection. But as far as the figure, it's awesome. It turned out to be a really, really clean, sleek looking droid with that dull gray and just those metallic accents. I really, really like the graphite looking parts of this droid. I am definitely satisfied with it. I think I'm going to stop at one. I'm not going to go for an army build. I just kind of wanted the character's representation on the shelf. Not really looking to get two or more. And hey, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just more money for more figure and dance and filling out the modal nodes. If you enjoyed my review, go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you are new. We are always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. If you'd like to support us in a more direct way, we do offer a channel membership for 99 cents a month. You get a custom made clone trooper loyalty badge next to your name that changes color based on how long you've been a member and you also get access to the custom made emojis that were made for us that you can use in our live stream chats and our comment sections in our videos. We also have merch. All of those links will be in the description if you'd like to check that out. If you can't, no worries, no worries. Just continue liking, subscribing, and watching our videos. It's truly humbling. Every single time you guys watch one of our videos, it warms my heart. I've been Justin from Out of the Basement, and we will see you guys next time.